Okay, I thought this was a good episode for me. Watch The Life You Save. It got a 5.4 out of 10 and 134. See, I know people don't particularly like the taste of Baywatch. That's the, and unfortunately, air conditioner is necessary in this. I know people don't like the taste of Baywatch when it's quality of episodes, but I thought this episode had a point. After all the beaches are closed down by Los Angeles Budget Commissioners looking to cut back on fundraising for the lifeguard squads at Baywatch, Mitch and the team organized a bunch of people to testify to try to keep Baywatch and all of that. And they ended up keeping it in the end. They cut the captains or something at the top of the um, hiring list. Of, not hiring. The ones that were captains had to be demoted or something. Uh, so other than that, it was a pretty good episode, I thought. But, you know, there's not enough people on here to rate the episode. You can't rate an episode with 134 people and know if it's good or not. So basically you're going off of a very small amount of people. See, with Game of Thrones, you have thousands of people that read it. But with this, you've got very few people that have even seen any of these episodes because they're impossible to watch. Now you can watch them more because it's streaming, but if you go back like 10 years ago, it was impossible to find Baywatch to watch anywhere unless you bought the DVDs or you um, happened to see a rerun, which they're not going to be on TV if they're all over on streaming services now. Okay, next episode, Trading Places. 5.6 out of 10, 126. Stephanie goes to work with the Coast Guard to help crack an armed, an armed smuggling ring in the area and becomes attracted to warrant officer Scott Daniels. I'm not going to read the rest. point of this is, is, this is what I don't understand. If Baywatch is meant to save people's lives, like when they're in a drowning scenario and stuff like that, smuggling operations, Baywatch would probably be told to get out of the way and they, the Coast Guard would help them out or something like that. I don't think Baywatch in real life would do anything if there was a Baywatch. Just, you know what I mean, lifeguards and stuff. They wouldn't be involved in these kind of operations. Alright, next one. Guys and Dolls. This is the one I think I just watched. 5.6 out of 10, 136. So all the people rate these. Matt rescues a shady teenage girl calling herself Rachel. I think this girl was in a previous Baywatch episode, too, if I remember. Yeah, she pretended um, to act like some, what's it called, that she slept with a lifeguard in a tower or something. That was, ho was horrible. Then the father was going to um, sue him, sue him for statutory rape or something like that. It was crazy nonsense. Um, but they brought someone back. A lot of shows do that, but it's not like Columbo when they brought back characters and they were good. This is a completely different thing. Um... This girl wasn't much of an actor. Um, artist hiding from a mentor and an ex-partner in crime involving a diamond-stuffed doll, which people stuff things all the time. That was kind of funny. What was also funny is because it's Baywatch and they don't have a budget, the, the diamonds they took out didn't look real. <laughs> That's why they didn't show them much. They showed them a few times in, in, in someone's hand and that was it because they knew they were fake ones. And, uh, you can all watch these on Amazon Prime. I have the Blu-ray set because I enjoy the Blu-ray set a lot better. I got the German import version. I can watch the old episodes with the original stuff on them compared to the lousy streaming services, which who knows how long they'll keep everything. And that's it for that. 22 episodes in the season for Baywatch. I have to say it was um, quite a run. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.